Hello guys, welcome back to Pause and welcome back to World Discovery. So many thanks to everybody for their feedback from the last episode as we started work on our Japanese area. Um, I was very honest in the last episode and did ask for your guys' opinion um, as I do struggle to, to find the differences between the uh, J- Japanese and the Chinese architecture. So thank you for the uh, hints that have been dropped down below and also for a lot of the tips and advice. I've taken a lot of it on board. So massive thank you to Sam Plays for the great idea of making the pink trees. Uh, and also a big, big thank you to Cat King Yas or Yes or Yas. I don't sorry, I don't know how it's pronounced. Uh, but many thank you. Uh, thanks for your feedback. Let me know how we can improve the area. So what we've done is removed um a lot of the um I've removed all the dragons because they don't fit. Uh, I've put in these new pink trees which look amazing so thank you for that and then on the building itself uh, we've made a few alterations we've toned down the colors and um, i've added some new uh, alternative roof pieces and then we've changed it into the sushi um bar as that is what it would be in japan <laughs> as it rightly pointed out the other the chow mein stand was um more geared up for uh, the chinese side of things so uh, I'll still continue to make improvements on the building, um, but thank you ever so much for the comments. Um, so anyway, in terms of today's footage, we're going to do uh, jump into a time lapse now uh, of putting a little bit more into this area. So uh, yeah, join join me in the time lapse. Okay, so yeah, thanks again for all the feedback. Um, I'd appreciate if you keep giving me help, please, on this. <laughs> so um, I'm putting a fair bit of landscaping work in today. Um, so again, if there is anything you see which is a little bit off, please let me know. And I will come back in uh, and sort it out, as I do want this area to be quite authentic. Um, and my own it's my own ignorance and limitations that's going to spoil that. So um, I want this to be quite... Um, I want, I want a lot of input, please, and I, as I need help, I need help. Um, so yeah, please let me know <laughs> what's going on, and if this is better, um, I'd love to hear from um, from you guys if, if this is looking better than it did. Um, anyway, so on to today. So yeah, like I said, mostly um, landscape work. We're putting in some little hill berms around the area, as I want this to feel quite enclosed. The Jap- uh, just uh, Japanese area, I want it to feel pretty separate to everywhere else because everywhere else so far has been quite open so i do want this to be quite um, encompassed with using the trees and i'm using a lot of the bamboo and also the uh, iron wood i think it's called the, the this sort of pinky colored uh, tree which i think is a nice thread that runs through the area uh, and then using a, a sort of mixture of different types of um, rock work as well just to make it sort of feel a little bit different and a little bit authentic so hopefully it comes off quite well I'm, I'm, I'm happy with it by the end um so yeah just a lot of this sort of variance in heights of the bamboo and give it a little bit of depth and things and i said it does, it does work quite well um, i will put in a few little slow-mo shots as always at the end so you can sort of see it in real time uh, and i do quite a bit of lighting as well today so uh, that's something you will see at the end so on to the first ride in this area um, as i mentioned last time i did want to get this pagode um, sky temple ride in again i know it's probably more geared up for china um, but we do tone down the colors and i think once we get the building in place it kind of fits quite i think it fits quite well in this area and um, the reason why i'm putting it in here and not in china is because i've already got the rides earmarked for that area there's going to be sort of a big um, water ride which is probably going to utilize the new armada so the sort of pirates the caribbean style boat ride um, originally i was going to do a log flume but i think i might use the armada instead um, so that's one of the main rides for that area that i've already kind of earmarked um, so i did kind of, i did want this ride in the park so this kind of felt like it was the best place for it um, so that's the reason why i've put it in here um, it's just off to one side so um the, the way I've kind of thought about this is, yes, this kind of ride ordinarily would be in the center of a park to give you the full panoramic of the actual park itself. Obviously, this is quite near the edge. Um, however, let's just let's just play and, and think maybe there's surroundings of the park. There's maybe uh, stuff to look at outside of the actual park boundaries, uh, maybe a bit of nature and stuff. So that's the reason why we put it here. But it still gives you a good panoramic of the actual park itself. Um, and it does spin, so I mean everyone will get a nice view. 
But regardless, it's going here anyway. Um, there's probably going to be one other ride in this area. I'm still not 100% sure what that is going to be just yet. Um, but there's still time to figure that out. It's probably something we'll do next time. Um, but in terms of this footage today then, a um, couple of hours worth of work here. I'd say probably three, just under three hours I think we did today on this. Um, so we, yeah, well, like I said, we finish off the um, building from last time. Most of, most of that I did off camera. Um, we do go back a little bit later and put some more tweaks on. Um, but in terms of this footage, um, this ride we put in, uh, I'd add a little play around with the queue line to make it work. Uh, we do put in a building around that queue line, so it is indoors. Um, a little entrance sign, and again, a lot more um, sort of planting and, and uh, landscaping work around. Um, one thing you'll see a little bit later on, I did have uh, trouble with this building because the back right hand corner as you're looking now um, kind of heads over where the actual ride goes, the arm of the ride. Um, so once I put the roof in I noticed that, the, that there was a bit of clipping between the ride and the roof so I had to come up with something to uh, make it work. Um, and I think it turned out okay. I mean, you, there's not going to be any real area that you're going to see that from, that back corner. So you'll see in a few minutes what I put in there to sort of make it work. Uh, but in terms of this building then, um, again, a bit of Google imaging, Google image search of just Japanese buildings, Japanese temples and that kind of stuff. Uh, and I, I sort of found a rough shape of a roof that I thought looked okay. I didn't want it too high. Um, so yeah, we go with it. It turns out quite nicely. Uh, again, it's just based on images that I found online, so nothing spectacular. But again, it, I think it looks all right. Um, I was just seeing if there was any other bits I could put on as decoration, but none of the pieces seem to work very well. It's very strange this set. It all just seems a bit off, and I don't really know. I, I'd love to see somebody who's actually knows what they're doing with this set and and watch them build with it because. I'm really struggling with it, if I'm being honest. I mean, it looks gorgeous from from like a distance, but to actually build with it is very frustrating. So in the end, we put a few of these things in. Um, quite a lot of the reference images that I found seem to have these little cap things on the roofs. Um, so yeah, that's going to be a lot of theme we're going to put through the areas. It, like I say, it seems quite common from everything I've found, but I don't know, we'll see. Um, so yeah, this was the corner I'm talking about before, so it kind of clipped into the ride. So I didn't want to move the building or the queue line because I quite liked it being there because I had a plan for the entrance. So instead, I think, well, what can we do to blend it in? So you'll see in a second, we do put a second building in that back corner um, just to kind of make it blend in a little bit. I mean, the story of it, we could say it's part of the ride mechanism, maybe like a little... Um, operation cabin or maintenance cabin for the um, th the ride itself so that's what we're going to go for um, so you'll see just here that's say that's what we put in just a, a second building at, at an angle it parallel to the ride so yeah that's what we're going for it's a maintenance building for the ride there you go done it fits the theme um, so the rest of the ride itself I, I still need to go back in and do something inside this queue building um, I didn't get a chance to do the interior today um, so that is something we will do um, not much. I think I can just see maybe using some billboards, something to put some uh, views of the park around as like posters and, and canvases or whatever on the walls, uh, just to just to make it feel like you're in. Um, I mean, it's not really a theme ride, but to make it just fit the theme of the ride, if that makes sense. So just to give you something to look at while you're in that queue. I'm, I'm hoping it won't be a very popular ride. I mean, in real life. In a real theme park, I don't think it'd get much of a queue. Uh, in this park, maybe, but that's why we need to put another ride in next to it, really, to, to hopefully eat up them queues. Um, but the way I'm designing the park, I'm, I'm really hoping that people will spread out equally, which is why I've done it as sort of a big circle. So fingers crossed when people come in, they'll naturally spread out and move around, and, and hopefully the queues won't be too bad, but... We'll see when we open it towards the end. Um, it's obviously like, yeah, that we will open the park at some point to see the guest flow. Um, so here we are, I had a little bit of trouble with the name, actually. So I could do with your guys' opinions on the name. So I wanted it to be something like Temple of the Ancients or something like that. Originally I wanted to use actual Japanese text and symbols, but the, the game doesn't allow it. Or at least I couldn't find a way for the game to allow it on um, 
to input on the sign. Obviously, I could use a billboard, and that's probably what we'll do. Um, but I didn't want to mess around until we decided on a name. So, um, any ideas for names for this one? Um, let me know. I've just very generically gone for that for now. The Sky Temple. I know that's what the ride's called, but I couldn't think of anything else. So, um, we'll, we'll finalise the name at some point. Um, so um, yeah let me know <laughs> so coming back to this then on the footage a little bit more landscaping a few more rocks a few more bushes and all that kind of stuff uh, to make it look quite nice like I said before I do want it to look pretty and I want it to look neat um, but I also want it to be quite um, quite quite samey if you know what I mean that's why I'm using a lot of the same trees around here um, I am going to put a little bit more of a splash of colour around the area uh, we're not finished just yet um, as again I was doing a lot of reference images for Japanese garden and things um, and they are very pretty very sort of colorful actually in terms of the, the gardens and landscaping um, so yeah I'm not done I will have another pass at it um, as we get get through I just wanted to try and do little bits here and there as you, as you can probably see from this footage I was going doing a bit on the ride doing a bit on the landscaping doing a bit on the building uh, and back and forth just, just trying not to keep getting myself bored really because uh, you get if you carry on doing the same monotonous thing for hours upon end it just becomes a bit of a faff so i think sometimes it helps to just move around and then go back to places uh, and that's what we'll do um so again in, in here is nowhere near finished as well um, i just wanted to put in a little bit in there so we put in a, a new roof to just cap that off um two of the sushi stands in the middle again we need to finish off the building on those uh, a few little benches and stuff we put around um and kind of almost finished the path work in here um, but we can always go back in and, and change that if we need to um, the floor itself we do lift up to cover the path so there will be a bit of clipping on guest feet but i mean we can live with that it's it, it's one of the limitations of the game i suppose so we can just ignore that uh, but yeah this interior is nowhere near finished we're going to put a bit more decoration in uh, again maybe using some billboards uh, but that's something we'll probably come back to towards the end of the series I think is when we'll just come in back into the each country and just have a look around and think how can we improve it where, which more what more details can we put in and all that kind of stuff and um, so the last little bit then today on the time lapse is just putting in some uh, more planting around this building just to make, make it all seem organic and um, make it all blend in so we're using these tropical rocks and again with the bamboo and the uh, iron wood or iron brush i can't remember what it's called but that pinky stuff and i think it looks really good uh, i really like it from from guest angle from the, the sort of peep perspective i think it does work quite well uh, but again let me know what you think i would love to hear your thoughts uh, and or, and suggestions for how to improve the area um because i, I do need the help so please let me know what you think uh, and that there will be a few days in between these episodes again so I can have a chance to read your comments and um, well sort it out <laughs> really and fix everything I've done um, because I've probably done it all wrong again um, so here I was just trying a little bit of uh, what can we do with lighting so um, someone suggested to make Jap the Japanese area feel a bit more modern uh, as opposed to China to give it a bit of a distinction so that's one thing we are going to do here as we get through into this more into this area going to start doing a few more bigger buildings a bit more emphasis on maybe colorful lighting neon um, just to give that impression it is, it is a more of a modern country so let's make it feel like that as you come in so that's the reason why we're putting these lights at the top to make it feel quite modern i'm lighting up lighting a lot of the trees from below this is something we have done in a lot of the other countries um, but this is just to make the area pop really at night because if you if everything's dark around the paths it just looks a bit naff um, so it's just a nice little tip to make the trees look a bit nicer. So yeah, like I said, we will go through more on the buildings, maybe put some some neon and stuff on there just to make it feel a little bit more authentic. Um, so that's about it for today's time lapse footage. I hope you've I hope you have enjoyed it. Um, I'll leave you now with a few slow mo shots around the area. Um, but that's it for today so thank you guys ever so much for watching if you have enjoyed this don't forget to give us a like down below subscribe to the channel stay up to date with all of our content fancy a chat head over to twitter or discord and if you want to help us out you can do that by going to the patreon page all the links are down below in the description uh, but for now guys just get, make sure you get your comments in any thoughts and suggestions and i'll see you in the next episode cheers guys bye